that's real blood, eh? Like, dripdastic. They just froze my finger. It's kind of like all bulging here because they put the needle in, you know, to freeze it. And, uh, it's pretty drippy. Now that the bed on the table. There's Michael, he doesn't like blood. Yeah, that's why he went to the doctor because she's already supposed to be recording here. Yeah, it's dripping quite a bit. That this is a pretty nice one. Beats the one uh, for my finger here. That was bleeding a little bit, not that much. All I heard was like, oh, fuck. Like, ah, okay. <laughs> I said that kind of like, oh, okay, this is a trip to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Did you see it go all the way in there? Yeah. It was like separated, and I just kind of like put it back on and then ran to the bathroom. Like it's dripping blood like this everywhere. I don't like blood, you shouldn't be watching this, I mean, I'm just recording anyway. Let's get a nice little close-up. Oh, it's hard with the problem. <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, uh, you can really see the fleshy part there. I like documenting this, because in a few years, I'd have to watch it and be like, yeah, I fucked my finger up real good there. That's how I got that scar. Alright, so that's it for now. Maybe I'll show you after the stitches. Alright, so he just put in the stitches. And, uh, got five stitches. Pretty nice. Not not a record. I've had more stitches in the past. There's Michael taking a dump in the chair. And there's some medical tools. Headphones. And back to my hand and the blood. And some bag. Bag and then my finger. Oh well, this will turn out. Kind of looks blurry over here. Yeah. Anyways, I do stupid things sometimes, you know. And uh, you this is one of them. Part two, part three. Can you put it on YouTube or something? Do part one, part two, part three, part four. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know why I'm recording this. Just so I can share it with people who might be interested, you know. This. And hopefully try and make it so people don't do the same mistakes I did. Just don't use X-Acto knives to cut plastic that you're not really supposed to be cutting. You know how it is.